Hello, in the last tutorial we start making our knife uh, our knife script. But before we proceed, we need to define the type of our static variable here. So let's save and let's go back to our knife script. And before we proceed, we forgot to put enable it here and here. So now um, today we're gonna start making our void that will detect the collision between our circle collider and our knife collider. So let's create a new void and let's call it on collision enter 2D. So this void will have one parameter and this parameter is going to be of type collision 2D and we're gonna call it call inside this uh, new void we're gonna start making an if statement so we're gonna uh, make uh, this uh, condition will test if our game object is tag equal a knife and if it has uh, hit it and our uh, knife component um, is fired and if our game manager is different of game offer so let's start call dot game object game object tag equal to knife then we need to add another condition different this is hit it is hit it and our call dot game object get component and we are looking for the knife component knife script component and inside of it we are looking for is fire then we need to make to make sure that is fire sorry is fire is equal to true then we need to make sure that our game manager dot is game over is equal to false okay now what we gonna do here here first we need to access our is hitted uh, variable and make it a true so now our, our arrive and our arrive hit our circle collider then we need to make that our game manager our game manager uh, dot is game over equal to two then we need to test to get our components here we need components not our component so let's just copy them and paste it here then all we need to do is to access to our rigid body variable and we need to freeze the rotation equal to false then we need to access to our rigid body then we need to access the velocity so velocity is going to equal to vector 2 dot 0 so it's going to be uh, equal to 0 
then we need to access our RB dot angular velocity velocity angular velocity and let's make it equal to random dot range and this this range is going to be between 20 and 50 and make sure that you put the float sign there and this is going to be multiplied by 25 then after we make this we need to access to our rigid body and let's add a force so add force then we need this force is going to be a new vector 2 and this vector 2 will contain a random range and this range is going to be but starting from minus 5 to 5 then after we define this we need to define the y force so it's going to be minus 30 then we need to add the, f the force mount 2 dot impulse okay now after that we need to make a call for a new uh, void we're gonna create it later call it destroy me this is is the void destruction void so after we made our destruction we need to invoke a new method and this method is going to be game over we're gonna be creating later so then we need to invoke it after 05 seconds and then we need to print a message so let's print game over from knife so this is message is going to be from this knife script okay after we do that we need to do this then we need to make an else statement so let's delete this it's going to be only one statement it's going to be else f we can make a condition here so we're going to access our collider game object one tag dot tag and let's test if is this equal to wood so the wood is the tag we already made and put it apply it to the so-called game object then we need to test if it's not hitted and we need to test if our game manager is game over after this we're gonna make a call dot game object call dot game object and let's access its so called component okay. then we need to access another uh, method we're gonna be creating later let's call it a knife head and as a parameter it's going to be taking this okay now we finish it working with our collider game object but we already made a call and invoke 
here for game over method so let's create this new method so it's going to be a void let's call it game over make sure that the game the name we use here is the same here so game over and let's try to make a gameplay manager so make sure that you write the name of your gameplay manager like you do here so our gameplay manager we're gonna access as instance then we need to access the game offer so this is another uh, script uh, another uh, method we're gonna be creating later so and then we need to create our destroy me void so here let's create a public void and let's call it destroy me so here all we need to do is to access our lintwin library we already uh, use it on the previous tutorial so as a parameter it's going to be taking three parameters the first is the game object and then we need to specify the new alpha starting from and uh, the alpha needed and it's going to take two seconds then we need to access another method already existed in the lintwin library and it's called set or complete this means it's going to be used after we already complete our uh, our work so equal and let's make the sign and then let's open our brackets then we need to say destroy with the capital D destroy game object sorry it's not destroy game object so it's going to destroy our game object okay and after we do this all we need to do is to go back here and let's put a semicolon now we are okay so we open one sorry we already let's put this for this oh we already have this here so we need to create another one here to be with this so we are good to go in the next tutorial we're gonna be accessing our gameplay manager and our game manager to create this new void so gameplay manager will be containing our game of game over method see you in the next tutorial